Hey guys! Do you want to learn how to make pretty candy that you can give to your friends and family? Then in this video I will show you how to make rock candy. It's easy and fun to make, you just need to be a little bit patient and have fun experimenting. For this project you are going to need 1 cup of water, about 3.5 cups of sugar, food coloring, jars, you will also need lollipop sticks or skewers and clothespins. Add the cup of water into a big saucepan. Then start adding the sugar cup by cup. Stir while adding the sugar and let each cup dissolve before adding another cup of sugar. The more sugar you add, the longer it will take to dissolve, so be patient. Then take your skewers or lollipop sticks and dip them into the solution. Make sure to cover only the area of the stick where you want the candy to grow later. Then place the sticks over our plate and start coating the stick with some sugar. This way we give the new sugar crystals something to see to. Be sure to let them dry all the way or otherwise the sugar coating will fall off when you put them into the hot sugar solution. In the meantime continue adding sugar until 3.5 cups of sugar have absorbed. Then let the sugar water boil for about 10 minutes so you can be sure that everything is absorbed. If you want you can also add some flavor into the liquid so it's kinda like a delicious lollipop in the end. If you still see some sugar crystals, add a little bit of water very carefully so they can dissolve in it. Now you can either add food coloring directly to the saucepan or add it to the jar later. Then turn off the heat and take the pot off the hot plate and let it cool down for about 10 minutes. Then pour the solution into one of your jars. Before I added the skewers, I let the jars cool down a little bit longer until the glass didn't feel so hot. After that, slowly insert your sugared skewers into the solution. I use two cloth pins to keep the sticks in place. Make sure that your sticks are not touching the sides, bottom of the glass or each other since they need room for the new crystals to grow. Once you have your skewers or lollipop sticks hanging in the jar, you shouldn't move it at all. Let it sit quietly undisturbed for about 3-7 to seven days to see the results. Don't touch the skewers but pay attention to it as well. And if everything went well, your rock candy should look something like this. I experimented with different kinds of methods and I tried to find the right sugar and water ratio. And I had the best result with the method I showed you. These were some other rock candies where I used less sugar. It still worked but the crystals took a lot longer to grow and they didn't grow as huge as this one for example, where I used the ratio I showed you. What I've learned from experimenting is that it's really important that the sugar on the skewer is fully dry. If it's not, the sugar coating will fall off and the new crystals will have nothing to grow on. And in the end you will also get a glass full of sugar crystals. Or the skewers will get stuck to crystals that are growing on the bottom of the jar. And you won't be able to remove the skewers without breaking anything. So make sure nothing falls off. If the project has failed and you want to try it again, you can actually boil the liquid and try it again. You can add more sugar if you didn't have enough or add more water to avoid any leftover crystals. I kinda liked experimenting with it and trying out different methods. So even if you fail, you can retry and have fun experimenting. If the crystals are growing on the skewers but the surface is full of crystals as well, you can remove the top and pour the liquid into a new clean jar and then place the skewers back into the jar. And if you guys have more tips how to make perfect rock candy, comment down below so I can add your tips to the list. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and found it helpful. Make sure to like this video if you did and to support this channel. And if you are going to recreate this DIY, make sure to share pictures with me on Twitter, Facebook or tag me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to see more fun and easy DIYs in the future. Have fun everyone and see you soon!